Praise the Lord, everyone. Elder Flower, you better watch this because you're going to make me start preaching. You know, um, the hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand. You know, um, Elder Flowers, you know, um, the one thing that has made me so proud the last week and a half, uh, we have 600 people in our county from the Gulf area and mostly from New Orleans. But when that devastation took place in New Orleans, and the federal government was bundling and the state government was trying to figure out what to do. For the first three days, the only help those people got were from the churches across this country. You know, and it says something about the heart of God-fearing people and about those of us who believe in Jesus Christ and understanding what our call is. And so I want to welcome all of you to uh, Prince George's County, Maryland. And I'm so pleased that you have picked Prince George's County to come and to renew your mission to make a difference in the lives of people. But let me say this, and I'm going to close. But when I go around this country, and in partic particular in Prince George's County, I see a real challenge for us. And that challenge is that so many, 50% of folks of our young people across this country that look like you and I drop out of school. And we know that the church has promoted education, and but more importantly, it has spoken to the values of our people values of discipline, values of love, respect, respect for your family, say yes ma'am and no ma'am, and, 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 and the caring that made a difference. And we got to get back to that basic. And I'm telling you, folks, if the church cannot turn it around, it won't get turned around. And, and I'm talking about every individual in this. You have to reach out and touch those young people and let them dream again. Let them have the hope that you had. And let them know that with faith in God, all things are possible. So welcome to Prince George's County. We're going to open our hearts for you. You're going to find that the people in Prince George's County are just wonderful people. Say hello to them, let them know that you're out of town and they're going to do whatever they can to make you welcome. Come back, please come back to Prince George's County. But while you're here, go out and visit, spend some money. <laughs> but more importantly, let's thank God for all of the things that he has been for us over the years. Because we know that because he brought us this far, he will take us all the way along the way. Thank you very much. And Reverend Fla Elder Flowers, thank you. God bless you. Our county executive, give him another hand. Thank you so much. Amen. At this time, we want to bring our mayor of the, of the great city of Sea Pleasant at night. I want him to come, and we, we, we know that he's a, a preacher, pastor, and a mayor. None other than the Honorable U.J. Grant, Mayor of Sea Pleasant. Praise the Lord, church. It is indeed an honor and a privilege for me to be with you at this time. There is no other place or better place to be than in the house of God. 
If more people had that attitude, maybe some of the problems that the politicians deal with, they wouldn't have to deal with. But let me first give honor to whom honor is due. Because I am in the house of God, and it's always good to be in the place where God's name is remembered. And I said the house of God because we took a hotel over and turned it into a house of God. You and all, all of us know all kinds of things go on in a hotel. And ain't nothing better than to preach word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in a hotel. I'm not no prophet and I'm not prophesying, but I believe that this hotel will be changed as a result of this congregation. To the bishops, pastors, elders, ministers, mothers, the church in general, I bring you greetings from Sea Pleasant, a city of excellence. We call ourselves the city of excellence because we know, as Paul said, now hath he obtained a more excellent yeah. ministry. Yeah. And that which we do is excellent because we are in the service of God for his people. Yeah. And so we are honored to represent and have in our community shining star free will to be with us in Sea Pleasant. We believe we're blessed to have them. We know that darkness cannot sit there because there's a star that's shining bright in a city of excellence. And it's being led by a minister who shines brightly. Ashamed and unabashed to preach the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now I'm not here to preach, I'm just here to give you greetings and welcome. But I do have the podium just for a moment. And I'm just honored and happy to be with you. We are dealing and living in perilous times. You know, Paul talked about it. Men would be lovers of themselves, boasters and blasphemers. Y'all know the scripture. We know that these are the times in which we're living in. But you know what? That's a time of opportunity. No, somebody didn't understand what I just said. I said it was a time of opportunity. Because while those people sat in darkness, God gave us a great light that can be shown throughout all Judea and in all of the world, pointing somebody in the direction of Christ that once they sat in darkness, now they can sit in the light of God and their life can be changed. It can only be changed by that which we do. So let your light so shine so that men will see your good work and you will glorify your Father which is in heaven. You see what we have in Prince George's County.